Hi everyone, Jen here with Next Wave Business Coaching, here to help you build a better business. So I just heard one out of four employees are preparing to switch jobs. That comes from Forbes. I don't know about you, but this is a startling statistic, especially because we are already living in an employee shortage world. This is so important that for the next four weeks, I am going to deep dive into how to retain your employees. Last week, I talked about how to attract the right employees for your business. So now let's talk about how to retain them. And it comes down to vision leadership. What is vision leadership? It's where you're rooted in the past, you address the future, and you deal with today's realities. The latest statistic I saw is that 96% of today's employees are craving transparency. They want to know what's going on in your business. They want to know where you're going as a business. They want more than just a project list or a to-do list. They want to know the why. The why is becoming such a crucial company strategy. It's so important to us, not only as business owners, but also to your employees. So vision leadership, it's what I call the big picture leadership. And when you implement this strategy in your small business, what it does is it builds loyalty, it builds trust, and therefore it builds retention. So when you look into what is a vision leader, what are some of the traits of a visionary leader? First of all, inspirational. You know, maybe we should all go watch an episode of Ted Lasso for a dose of inspiration, right? Vision leaders are usually emotionally intelligent. That means they kind of understand the power of feelings. They have empathy for others. They're very open-minded. Yes, they have a goal. They're big picture thinkers, but they're flexible about how to get there. Vision leaders do not see setbacks as a sign of failure. They, are, they look at setbacks as a learning opportunity. How can we learn from this and grow and become better people because of it? They're persistent, you know, they do not take no for an answer. They're risk takers, but as a small business risk taker, you have to be willing to take risks, but calculated risks. We're not just gonna try everything, right? They're typically magnetic. They kind of have that personality that people just wanna naturally follow. They're usually more optimistic. They're your glass half full kind of peeps. And they're bold. And you know where they get their boldness from? It comes from the confidence because they know their foundation. They understand their why. They understand what their values are and who they stand for. They're also very communicative. They love to collaborate. Even as solo entrepreneurs, they love to collaborate. So whether you possess some of these traits or none at all, that's okay. You can always skill up. I always suggest continue building in yourself is going to build in your small business. And you know what? You can't afford to not implement some of these vision leaderships with today's climates of trying to find and retain the right employees. So in the next three weeks, I'm going to dive deeper on how to implement and become a visionary leader. The subjects I'm gonna cover are such as how got a minute meetings, improve the communication and the transparency and was a key tool in implementing vision leadership in my business. We're also gonna dive into how to create, develop and activate a culture in your workplace. Culture is becoming a hot topic and something that employees really want to know and be a part of. And then also how to know your foundation, your why, how to communicate this to your employees, your customers, your vendors, how that can create boldness in you because you're going to have such confidence. So having a vision leadership policy and procedures in your small business can help your employees feel part of the solution, feel part of the program, it provides freedom so you don't have to micromanage. And the end result is you're going to have happier employer, employees. You're going to have less turnover. You're going to have better customer service, which is going to improve your production and ultimately affect your bottom line in a positive way. So I invite you to stay tuned to the next three weeks as we dive into this to help you build a bit better business together. And if you're interested in taking a short quiz to evaluate how your business is doing, I invite you to do so in the link below. Please reach out to me if you're ready to dive deep on this about your business. I'm here to help you. And vision leadership is one of the six pillars of my Build a Better Business program. I look forward to going through this series with you. 
reach out to me if I can be of help. Until then, I'll see you next week.